So we know it's been a dry around here. Uh, Lincoln now approaching nearly two inches below normal for the year to date. Uh, the driest has been since 2014. But take a look at this out in Grand Island. Uh, we're nearing three inches below normal. And what's incredible about this, only 1.21 inches of rain has fallen or precipitation has fallen so far this year. It is the driest in over a century. You got to go back to 1910 to find a drier date. And this now ranks as the fourth driest year to date in Grand Island. So not good news out that direction. Go a little further south into Hastings. It's the, it's the fifth driest uh, start to a year on record as well, going back to the late 1890s. So not a lot of rain expected to come our way in Grand Island. There is a chance for a few scattered showers tomorrow, but better chances further to the east out towards Lincoln, towards Wahoo and further eastward of that. Here's a look right now from Grand Island at I-80 and Highway 281. Some sunshine out there trying to break through some of those clouds, but move further east towards Lincoln. Allo Communications looking off to the southwest. We've got cloudy skies. At times we've tried to see a few breaks in the clouds, but they've been uh, not very often uh, happening. Now we made it up to 57 degrees this afternoon. It's 56 down in Lincoln. That's after a low temperature, tying the record low in the capital city of 24 degrees. By the way, the record not that old, 2018 when, when it was set. It's currently 55 degrees in Beatrice, out towards the Tri-Cities. It's currently sitting in the low 60s. Winds are gusting out of the south-southeast, 35 to 45 miles per hour. And we will keep the winds up through the overnight hours. So if you've got to put your trash cans out tomorrow morning, and you oftentimes do it the evening before, I maybe would wait until Tuesday or Wednesday morning to put those out because you'll notice winds gusting 40 miles per hour at times through the overnight hours and for tomorrow morning. Uh, they'll continue to stay out of the south before a cold front comes through during the afternoon. That's going to shift our winds back around to the northwest. We could see still some gusts to 35 miles per hour, especially in the morning. I think they will be lightening just a little bit as we head towards the afternoon. A warm front's going to pass through the area tonight. That's going to mean our temperatures don't drop very much tonight. Lows will only be falling off into the upper 40s, and you can see hour by hour, we're not actually moving a whole lot. Uh, temperatures, as I said, upper 40s for lows, likely by tomorrow morning as you're heading out the door to go to work, temperatures will likely be right around 50, if not the low 50s. Here we are at 6 o'clock in the morning. You can see a few scattered showers around the area as this tries to move off to the east. The cold front starts to move in, and that will start to push this off further eastward into Iowa and Missouri, and we'll actually see sun breaking out towards the afternoon. That should allow things to warm up into the afternoon. We'll see a high of 68 degrees in Lincoln, 69 in Seward, 69 in Beatrice, and right around 70 degrees as you head further to the west. And again, winds out of the south initially, shifting around to the northwest behind that cold front, uh, sustained 8 to 16 miles per hour. And this is what I was talking about. Not a lot of precipitation expected out of this, just a few hundredths of an inch of rain. Seven day forecast, 73 degrees on Thursday with rain coming late Thursday night, maybe a thunderstorm. Take a look at Friday. We may have a few lingering showers Friday morning. We'll get some uh, dry hours Friday afternoon, and then we'll have a chance for some thunderstorms towards evening. A high temperature of 88, 82 degrees on Saturday with much the same. A few lingering showers in the morning, a chance for a thunderstorm in the evening and then another cold front comes through turning us a little cooler by Sunday turning breezy 67 degrees and then highs right around 60 through much of next week with another chance for some showers perhaps by middle of next week. Relative.